Here we are in Riesenbeck, ladies and gentlemen, in uh, the northwest of Germany for the second round of the 11th stage of the season. The home of Ludger Meerbaum, the home of the two-time champions, Riesenbeck International, powered by Kingsland. And in this uh, second round, they are going to launch another attempt to win their first stage of the season. The overall standings on the championship. Can Stars, 6 in front of Stockholm Hearts. Stockholm Hearts, 11 in front of Doha Falcons. And then tight margins. Falcons to Rieseback, to Valkenstraat and to Prague in the battle for the top four. These are the standings. Can Stars clear Rieseback International with a time penalty. Four teams on four, including the surprises of New York Empire. This is the surprise of round one. The 12 penalties and the 11th place of Stockholm Hearts, powered by H&M We Love Horses, with Philippe Arts and Philippe Arts, with Olivier and Nicola. And the first trail goes straight away behind Madrid in motion. It is already a one-place drop for Stockholm Hearts at the first fence. Nicola Philippe Arts with Luna van het of she responsible for the four penalties. Stockholm Hearts so far have managed to jump at least one clear at every stage and this is the first stage this season that they failed to jump at least one clear. With three fences left this should be safe. No problems on the wall so far here in Riesenbeck and even if that last fence would fall they would stay in front of Monaco Aces it doesn't fall they stay in front of Monaco but they have gone behind on Madrid in motion and there's two things to keep in mind here on one side they go behind Madrid in motion so they lose a position on the standings Rome Gladiators powered by Clip Mahos on TV sit in a good position to uh, challenge the leading teams on the championship we have got six to go including Rome Paul Michael Mahos. There, Carl Tim has gone to Casino Calvin. Nina Malver has stepped off, and it's Laura Kraut coming in with Bisqueta. Flies over that Oxford with Bisqueta. Winner of a speed class on day one, two phase class, I should say, to be correct. The man by Bisbalu there, deep to the vertical, and then a great stretch. Oh, what a beautiful effort from Bisqueta to come out of the combination. It looked like she came in, or they came in a bit too fast, and deep to the vertical, and then an enormous effort, first at the vertical, and then at the Oxer. Bisqueta and Kraut, good for the time. And clear, and Rome gladiators have got plenty of margin. They have got... Two rails and eight penalties in hand on Prague Lions. Yeah, that's with Kyle Tim still to go. But a great clear from Bisqueta and Laura Kraut. Two rails in hand. Plenty of options now. And comfort. Oh, big touch there for Kyle Tim and Casino Calvin. 85 allowed. Kyle Tim. Double clear for Rome means the lead for Rome, and it is the lead for Rome. Rome Gladiators have taken the lead. Interesting situation now, because we have got uh, five teams still to go. This is now a serious option on a podium. Valkenswaard United now, where Ening is on Coolio and Gilles Thomas is on Elfra van Beek. All good so far for Aining. How is he for the time? Can he give uh, Gilles Thomas a little bit of margin? Can he finish around the 80 seconds? Seven strides over. And the last fence goes straight away. They go behind Rome Gladiators. Now Gilles Thomas who had to make a last minute change to Elfra van Beek has to uh, ride it clear and ride it under quite a bit of pressure and that's gone and that is gone for Gilles Thomas and so Valkenswaard now level with Prague Lions oh he had to ride strong there Thomas 
fighting for his life. Double clear for Valka Swart, it is not. It is. Oh, time penalty is added. Oh, yo, yo, how much is that? He had to ride it clear inside the time. We had to stay clear inside the time. He is 0.08 outside the time allowed. Jill Thomas and Elfra van Beek. That means that Rome is not yet guaranteed of a podium, but it's getting closer and closer to it. Any rail that falls now. Here's the team that's number three on the championship, Doha Falcons, with Simon de Lestre on Dexter. Michael Pender has come in with HHS Calais. Team starts with four. Those were the four penalties of Great Britain and Jérôme Guéry. All flat. Yep, that's gone flat. Doha posting a fast time, of course, with uh, this Simon de Lestre. Oh, that's gone. And now they level. Oh, and they're behind Prague Lions. Doha Falcons have given up enormous margin now. A sixth place drop for the Doha Falcons. And that could have an impact because they could also get overtaken on the championship by reason back. First, let's wait and see how Michael Pender does with uh, HHS Cali. Time wise is good. There's Michael Pender. Clear from him, clear for Doha Falcons, but the team finished sixth at the moment and still three teams to go. It is 16 their score and the Gladiators could very well make the podium. There down there you see Dennis Lynch on Cordial as part of New York Empire powered by Lugano Diamonds. This year their second place in Mexico City. They've broken that spell already, but Lynch has got a fence down and Rome Gladiators are guaranteed off their second podium this season. Ay, and that's gone. And now it is 16. And where do they go? New York Empire are flirting with uh, the Doha Falcons. They won't make the Falcons time. No, that's impossible. Not after the 83.06 of uh, Dennis Lynch. Vogel with Sidello to take... New York Empire away from that last place. It's going to be a close call. I thought it was undoable. If they stay in front of Doha, they will move away from last place. And that goes. And the last fence is gone for New York Empire. Last place would be shared by Scandinavian Vikings and by New York Empire. Both on the same points tally. We've got two teams left, one team on a time penalty, one team on clear. Small margins, but there are margins. And there she is, just be gentle, for Reason Bank International, powered by Kingsland. That rail is gone. They go behind Rome. Rome is guaranteed second place now. Their score is five. One rail for just be gentle and Kukuk. Straight through the middle and home time just inside the time allow there. Christian Kukuk scared us once again. Just be gentle and Kukuk on four penalties. One rail can fall to be guaranteed of a podium. Big stretch. Ooh, and just over. I think it was a big bang on the back rail, but that is still up. Wise up to give Reason back another podium finish. It's not going to be a win. And they've kept the pressure on Ken Star still to go. There's Wise out and Kobe inside the time. The team total is five. They are ranked second at the moment. <laughs> Sophie Hinnis and Katy Neckerman. Iron Dames Sinclair, Iron Dames Kalamandia and RW. Their direct rivals on the championship, Doha and Stockholm, have underperformed. There is a huge championship opportunity here in the next three minutes for all these Can Stars powered by Iron Dames. The ladies of Can Stars. Wow, and Hinners as if there's nothing, there's no pressure for Hinners just going just every time that positive assertive the gentle aggressive approach 
of Hinders and Sinclair who every time responds. Clear number three coming up for Hinders and Sinclair and for the Can Stars. Are we watching a team taking a decisive step versus a championship win? Katrin Eckerman and Iron Dames Kalamandia NRW. Can they do it again? Clear is a consecutive stage win. A fourth win this season that would put them amongst the great teams in GCL history. They are becoming serial killers, these can stars. Cold blooded serial killers. Are they going to do it again? Back to back wins and a major jump on the standings. They've done it again. What a performance from Can Stars. Clean sheet number two. Consecutive win for Can Stars, powered by Iron Dames. And leaving everybody behind them in their dust as they not only dominate the stage but now truly dominate the championship the gap on the championship standings is now so large that if they would not attend the next stage in uh, london they would still still be in front the domination of can stars powered by iron dames and look at the respect that these six ladies and their team deserve and get from this appreciative crowd here in Germany, in Riesenbach, it's a victory gallop for Katrin Eckermann and Sophie Hinners. And keep in mind that Doha in the end finished eighth and Stockholm finished 12th. This is a huge stage for Cannes stars. When your rivals do poorly, capitalize on their performance and make the most out of it. Rome Gladiators, credits to them, second podium of the season, they have had ups and now they have their downs and now they're up again in second. Riesenbeck just in front of Prague. What a stage, what an impact. Can Stars powered by Iron Dames, what a win yet again. Catherine, what's your response? Yeah, actually I don't know what to say. I, I, I think we had a lot of pressure with Riesenbeck International in front of us and even I knew I could do one down, but uh, we are in the top level and we all know how, how fast a fall can happen. But both our horses jumped amazing. Uh, we rode very good. I lost the steer ups there one line. So, yeah, we were really fighting and uh, I can't describe these feelings. Just, wow, a woman power. <laughs> and it is a 26-point gap already on uh, the championship ranking between Can Stars and Stockholm, Doha and Riesenbeck are actually level at 196 and Prague Lions only 10 points behind on a fourth place ranking. But the win for the second stage in a row now is for Gan Stars powered by Iron Dames. It is Rome Gladiators in second and Riesenbeck International in third. That's all from us here today from Riesenbeck, but tomorrow there is the launching Global Champions Tour Grand Prix from Riesenbeck, the 11th of the season. Make sure you're once again with us live from Riesenbeck. Bye-bye.